Welcome back everyone. We have the C47 installed in a Swiss Micros DM42N. And what I want to do is I want to um, multiply uh, two matrices. We're going to enter um, two matrices and we're going to store those so we can do other operations. But the idea is two matrices and then we're going to multiply them. How do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is tell the calculator we're going to do a 2, enter, 2, you can press enter again, a 2 by 2 matrices. Uh, matrix is right here on number 9, so I'm going to go shift, one time shift, and then there should be an F right here, and then press 9 for matrix. All right, now I do have this cover. If you don't, it looks like this. And you can still follow along, but, you know, having this template makes it a little easier for the C47. Okay, now I still have the 2 uh, and the 2 on the different stacks. I press the matrix, right, shift matrix, and I have these particular sub-menus. What I want to do is I'm going to press new. I don't have to do shift or anything, I just press new. And now it's giving me a two by two matrix. And now I need to edit, which is over here. I'm going to press edit. Okay. So by pressing edit, we are in an edit mode. And then we type one here and we can press enter. And then we can move over. We can use this right here. And I'm going to do two. And we can press enter. We don't have to press enter, you'll see. Um, we can go down right here or up. Or we can use these, so we can go down, and I'm going to put, what, 4. And I want to move over. I didn't press Enter. Let's see if it puts it there. Yeah, see, it does. And then 3. And we can press Enter. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And now I want to get out of this edit mode. Press Exit. And now you have it here. I can do another 2 by 2. Multiply those two, and it gives me the answer. But I want to store this. Um, matrix. So to do that, we have a store button. So click on store. And it says store, and it's blank here. We need to put variables, letters, numbers. I think it has to be a letter first, but we need to name it. So right here we have the alpha. That's in, in yellow. Shift alpha. And then you can click on one of these. These are the Greek letters. I'm going to put alpha and then enter to store it. You can see that alpha is this matrix. Now you can delete this and you can bring it back by recall. And then you click on variable and here's alpha and alpha is back. You see that? Okay. Now let's do the next matrix. So we go to Enter, enter, right, two by two. And then we're going to go to shift and then matrix. Sh press once for the yellow and then you get um, this menu and you want to do a new matrix. Okay. Now, if I feel, if you feel we're going too fast, then what you need to do, pause and go back. All right. But the more you do this, the more intuitive it, it will be. You press edit. And then we want to go 5, 6, 7, 8. 5. Go over. 6. Go over. And you can go... Oh, when I went over, <clears throat> it brought me down there. Okay. 7. Go over. 8. And then enter. Very smart. <clears throat> and then you can press escape. 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. I want to name this. So we're going to store what, what you want to call it, right? The moment you press store, it's asking you, what is it? So we go to shift alpha, right in the top. We pick another letter. If you pick A again, alpha, it's going to uh, give it that variable, but it will delete the other matrix. So I'm going to press beta and then enter. Now we got beta. So 
I can be doing other calculations, right? Right? And then, let's say I want to bring those matrices. So we're going to recall, and we're going to press variable, and we're going to press A, right? And then do the same recall, variable, B. I'm going to multiply those two. Those are on one on top of the other stack. I should get something like this right here. I'm going to multiply. And sure enough, 1922, 4350. And I can store that if I wanted to, right? Um, you can see that we have different things, uh, different options, right, that you can utilize for your matrix. You can go up here. It gives you more options if you like, right? So again, you can recall. You can take a variable, you can take A, right? And you can take six and you can multiply it and it multiplies A by six, right? So six times one is six, six times two is 12, 18 and 24. Okay, <clears throat> I hope that was interesting and informative. This is for multiplying, you can, you can do also adding and other types of matrixy um, operations. But that should get you started using the, the C47 software that is installed on the Swiss Micros DM42N. Uh, there is a, a DM42 that you can also run the software as well. Uh, I hope you have a great semester. I hope you like this video. Please share it with your friends. Please share it on a playlist um, or with your teacher. This is an exciting moment with this type of technology that we're getting uh, very close to those old days in the 80s and the 70s where you have um, RPN calculators um, where, where it's a different feel than these calculators here. All right, I hope you, again, you have a great semester and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.